One of my university professors said that if you realize how to solve this tricky equation, you will have no more problems with mathematics. Is it true? Let's check it up. At first sight, we understand that the left side and the right side of these equations are bigger than zero. So, we can take a natural logarithm from left and the right sides. So, we have that natural logarithm x to the power of x equals to natural logarithm from 4. So, knowing properties of logarithm, we can put this x before logarithm and write this equation like x times natural logarithm x and it equals to natural logarithm 4. But what we're going to do now on the left side is product of two different functions, logarithmic function and linear function, and on the right side is constant. How can we do in this situation? We're going to have an interesting trick. As we know that x is bigger than 0, so let's divide both sides of this equation by x. And here we have on the left side natural logarithm x and it equals to natural logarithm 4 divided by x. And here is the most interesting moment of solving this equation. Look at the left and on the right side of this equation. On the left side we see a monotonically increasing function like this way. But on the right side we see monotonically decreasing function like this way. But what is the property of two different functions staying on the left and on the right side? Which one of them is increasing monotonically and another is monotonically decreasing? Of course, that these two functions can have one and only one common point or only one intersection point. We don't know what is that, but it's only one. So the only one step that we're going to do now is to try to guess what is this solution. What is one and only one x that can solve this equation? If we try to look closely, we can figure out that 4 equals to 2 squared. And on the left side we have x to the power of x. So that's why that one and only one decision of this equation is x equals to 2. Here is the answer. Mathematical analysis bases on functions. So I think that if you understand their game and function nature, you can understand and feel mathematics. I suppose this is what my professor was talking about. So guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video and I hope you are really going well. Subscribe to the channel and I want to see you in the next video.